me and his relationship, when you saw one, you saw the other. It was just more than just a mother and a son relationship. He was my best friend. Well, he was a little kid, but I was acting like I'm a little kid. <laughs> Sean! <laughs> Everybody wanted to be a part of this man. There's so much things that I can remember about my brother. The life of the party. Where Sean definitely was like the life of the party. He was just so funny. He was cool. I was always around him. He was my childhood friend that I really cared about. He just loved everybody. He was a bright young man with a very promising future. And I asked him, yo, everything good out there? You straight? Everything all right? He was like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, everything all right? I wanted to know what was going on. That's when he told me then that he was making some changes. Certain people, he started beginning not to have full trust in. To my understanding of what was going on, the person he was dating at the time, he no longer wanted to date. I felt so sick, because I knew just something wasn't right. And I remember my sister was like, something's not right. And I called, nothing. She was like, Sean ain't answering. It was a weird feeling, like, He's gonna come back. He's somewhere that we just don't know. You know, he's doing his thing right now. He's gonna come back. When it went to voicemail, I knew something was really, really wrong. 19-year-old Rashawn Brazell was decapitated. His body meticulously cut up, stuffed into garbage bags, and dumped in a New York City subway station. I literally was like, no, this can't be happening. I said, I don't want to start crying. The way my brother was killed, I just don't understand that. I don't know how a person can do that to another person like that. They were just announcing that they found body parts in the garbage bag in the train station. I'm like, wow. The next day, it was a lot of media in the hallway. Magazines saying the most horrific murder since Jack the Ripper. The media wasn't nice to us. What's the point of putting his sexuality into it? Straight or gay, that had nothing to do with this. <laughs> the only question I was able to get out was, why? Oftentimes, many homicides, they just hit a dead end. No leads or nothing. Y'all don't know nothing, it's been five years. I am now questioning, well, how much did they know? And why has everybody dispersed? He knew his killer. Killers, he knew them. And they knew him.